Hey guys, Avi Fazio here. We're in the second wave of this COVID-19 global pandemic. By now, either you or someone you know has been infected with this virus. In today's video, I'm going to share with you all an exercise program that you can do if you've been infected or been admitted to hospital or if you know someone who's been admitted to hospital, you can share this video with them as it's going to be quite useful. This video is aimed specifically at those, for those of you who are experiencing respiratory difficulty as the coronavirus can attack the lungs, creating inflammation in that area, making it more difficult for the body to receive oxygen from the lungs. And oxygen is our major fuel source. These breathing exercises are going to help you improve your air entry as well as make the oxygenation process a lot more efficient to help the body regulate that uptake of oxygen. Before I get to these easy breathing exercises, it's important to know the correct technique or the correct breathing principles which will make these exercises far more effective. There are three of them that I'm going to briefly touch on. Number one, always breathe in through the nose and breathe out through the mouth. When breathing out through the mouth, purse your lips. So pretend that you are blowing out a candle with the Number two is try to breathe slower and deeper versus fast and shallow. And number three, try to be in a position that's relaxed and allows for better lung expansion. For example, try to be nice and upright and tall in good posture versus slouched and cramped where the lungs don't fully get a chance to expand. The first breathing technique is known as diaphragmatic abdominal or belly breathing. You want to place your hand where your diaphragm sits, which is just above your belly button and just below the rib cage. When you're breathing in or in inspiration, you feel the diaphragm expand or rise. And when you're breathing out, you want to feel it contract or drop. If you are unable to get this correct in a seated position, then my advice is try it either lying on your back or lying on your side as it's far easier. Remember to when you're breathing out, you want to breathe out for twice as long as breathing in. So it's a one is to two ratio. So if you're breathing in for three seconds, try to breathe out for six seconds. Okay, let's try it together. So hands on the diaphragm, breathing in through the nose, and breathing out through the lips. One more time in. And breathing out. When breathing out, it's important to have the shoulders nice and relaxed. And it's important to do this for about three to five times. Take a break and repeat as often in the day as possible. The next technique is known as lateral costal breathing. Lateral means to the side and costal are your ribs. So you can do this one at a time. You place the opposite hand on the rib cage, somewhere around here towards the side of the body. Now the same principles apply. When you're breathing in, you wanna feel the rib cage expand. And when you're breathing out, you wanna feel it contract. Once again, if you're having difficulty in doing this in a seated position, please try this lying on your side or even on your back. So you're taking a deep breath in and out slowly. Repeat that three to five times. Repeat to the other side, move over to the other side and you can do that as often as you want in the day. This next technique encompasses all the breathing principles as well as diaphragmatic breathing into it as well. This is known as the four, seven, eight, I don't know how to make eight with my hands, technique. Now, this is a little more advanced than the previous two. So very simple, you're gonna breathe in for four, you're gonna hold for seven, and you're gonna breathe out for eight. Okay, so let's try that together. So deep breath in. Hold for seven. And breathe out for eight. (sighs) 
I have shown this exercise in a previous video and I'll attach the link below for uh, if you want to see the full explanation uh, for that exercise. You can repeat this three to five times, take a break, remember this is a little more tiring than the previous two techniques and try this as many times as you want in the day. Other more advanced exercises that you can try that I'm not showing in this video are things like blowing into a balloon or breath holding. Okay guys, I hope you found that useful. I want you all to please stay safe and stay strong.